In this video, we're going to look at a few other interesting examples of dynamics. These are useful facts to know if you're implementing high-frequency circuits. First, current mirrors are quite fast, um, and that's mostly because uh, Q1 is diode connected, so it looks like 1 over GM to ground. Um, and that means C pi 1 and C pi 2 see small impedances. They see this 1 over GM. Um, something similar is going to be true of most current mirror topologies because all of them are going to have a diode connected device somewhere. That's a crucial part of a mirror, so you're going to have this 1 over GM impedance in them. Um, but this is kind of bad. Mirrors are biasing circuits, so we really don't want them to change. Um, and if we could have them respond slowly to disturbances so they act like a low-pass filter, that would be good. Um, and that can help with stability, too, for reasons we'll get into later. So it's, common to, so it's common to add a big decoupling capacitor to the middle node of mirrors to slow them down deliberately. Second, common bases operate at high frequencies and they're pretty well behaved. Both C pi and C mu are grounded on one side. Um, so they look like shunt capacitances dangling off of the input and the output, right? You could uh, draw ground down here and move that there, and draw ground down here and flip this around here. Um, the input impedance of the common base is 1 over GM, so C pi sees an impedance of 1 over GM, meaning that its open circuit time constant is small. Uh, C mu is sees whatever's connected to the collector, uh, again in parallel with this big left-right pattern. Um, so it might have a large open circuit time constant depending on what you use as a load. However, if you use a low impedance load, then this amplifier is quite fast. Um, it also has the really nice property of not having a feed-forward zero, because the capacitance between the collector and the emitter uh, is not part of our model. It's very small. Um, so overall, that makes it pretty attractive for high-speed applications. Its low input impedance can be useful there as an interface to 50 ohm circuits, and um, you don't get feed-forward behavior. You do get voltage gain with a very wide bandwidth. So in summary, current mirrors have fast dynamic responses, but they're usually biased circuits, so we slow them down with caps on the diode-connected node. And common bases are fast and well-behaved with very little feed-forward behavior.